hello guys kindly check this application out when i type anything wow okay so likewise we can delete them too can okay, i see that today okay so in this application we're going to develop this using react hooks and tailwind if you want to type along with me kindly install the following one uuid and two react icons with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our src folder we call the first one let's call the first one assets good then call the second one components Okay, so that is that. Next, we go to the assets folder, which demands the images and uh, spinners. But well, this project has no images and spinners, so we move to the next one, which is the components. Where are we components? Let's create a file and call it to do app dot js. Now with our boilerplate, R A F C E. Good. We say instead of ordinary div, why don't we make it reactor fragment? Reactor fragment. Good. So inside that we can say H1 tag. Then we say hello. Now let's link that to the app.js to view on the screen. Good. So we say, I'll give it to do, to do app. Good. Now let's import that. So import, but to do app from where? Yeah, from components. To do so that is that let's run it you say cd my project and inside that npm run start yeah great we got hello on the screen so it means you're ready to go now since it's air uh, how do you call it tailwind is mobile first let's make it mobile okay now let's look at the structure for the application now with the structure of the application i want us to have a card now inside the card we have a header now with the header then we have our inputs filled with a button beside it okay like this then our uh, display you can have our to-do list beneath it like that okay so that is that for the structure so we can begin now so to begin let's close the app.js let's go to the div then create a container okay so let's say div div good now inside a div let's create a, a div another div good and inside that let's create a container so to create a container we can say give it a class name good and give it a bg color we say bg bg let's give it red 900 okay then let's give it some width we say width we give you um, no let's give it height h h what 96 let's give it height then let's give it okay let's look at it what you're doing good mm, okay yeah you can see what's happening i'll shoot this a little good yeah so that is that so let's give it some uh margin left right to mx let's give it 10 
then let's give it um, let me keep rounded rounded let's give it uh, rounded LG then uh, what again let's give it margin top let's give it 10 then what again mm, shadow again okay, let's give some shadow shadow let's give LG good what do you think now think our card is ready good now with our card ready the next thing to do is to give it a header okay so let's see give it a header let me make the view the view is good word wrap good now we give it a header so inside the same div yeah it, it creates let's see header okay so header let's give it a div and inside that mm -hmm. to the header header we say give it a p tag mm. p tag then we say to do to do a p p now with the header let's give it a background last name sorry Class name, let's say BG, BG Blue 900. Good. Let's give it a height 16. Then, what again? Mm. Let's look at the test. Let's give it a class name. Class name, let's do test. Give it 3x L and let's give it what test. Oh, come on, check that test. Test what? White mm. and what again? Font what? Font bold. And what again? What again? What again? Now let's bring this test to the center, okay? So we can use uh, flex. So over here we can say, oh come on, let's say flex. Then uh, justify center. Good. Then item center. Good. Yeah, that is that. So let's make it overflow hidden. Okay. So let's do here overflow hidden. Okay. So now we can have our header ready. So now our header is ready. Let's go to our the next one, the body. Good. The body. Should we say? Body and the body is let's give it a div and a div. Oh, sorry. So inside the div, let's uh, create a form. Okay. Inside the form, let's create another div that will hold the input. Hold the input and the button, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we say input. Okay. So the input, what do we need? We need a type, type cover test. Then what again? Placeholder. I will say. Enter to do then class name class name mm, let's check it out good mm. let's give it okay where are you get let's give it a class name let's d1 let me say rounded 
left LG give this give it some margin tap margin tap margin tap five again mm, no 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 not here let's give it a margin at the deep right okay so let's clear the class name Margin tap five better. So that is that with the to do's. Let's give some padding. I don't left rather. P left P L two. Good. Maybe three. Yeah, that is okay. Hmm, you know what next again? Now let's bring the uh, button so we say mm -hmm. button button now the button what type gy type submit then what again let's give it um the button the button i want to use an icon okay so let's go to react icons react let's go to google and go to react icons then look for enter okay, then i take this one copy it then uh, use this one let me see what Paste. Okay, then I import it. Import from React icons slash AI. So that is that. Okay. Our button is ready. Now let's get the class name and add some styling to it. So let's say class name was let's give it the, the size test. Now let's see for XL too much. Maybe three will do. Three will do. Or maybe X to SL. Good. Now let's give it some background color. Let's change it to white. First, white. Let's give some background color. Mm, let's give it a glass name. Mm -hmm, yeah. Glass name. VG, VG, um, opening, mm -hmm. Android. Okay. So what do we need? Let's give some padding, okay? Mm -hmm. BX, let's give it two. No, let's give it one. Then what again? Yeah. Now let me see if I can make it the size bigger a little. Oh yeah, good. Now let's center it. To do that, we need to use uh, how do you call it? Display flex. So we say class name. And let's set that to flex. Flex. Then uh, justify center. Then items center. Good, it's still hanging. Whoa, sorry guys, not here. Uh, let's copy that to the inside div. Uh, this side, rather. Good. Oh, god, last name is two. Okay. 
input handler. Class name MTFL item center. So I think that is that. Let me check the pattern for the what's the name? This guy. The input and give the same pattern to it. Okay. Okay, that says by the way, let's look at that later. Okay. Let's give it some weight for the input. Mm, let's give, give it some weight for it. I said nine twelve. Good. I think that is that would do. Then let's give it some let's round this place to to round the right. Say so rounded All right. Also, let's give it LG. Mm -hmm. No, not here. Maybe here it will do. Okay. Third and BG. My sentence up like that. Good. So that is that. Road mm again, -mm. road again, road again, road again, road again. I feel like the this thing is too small. The button is too small. Let's see. Let's see. If we can increase the size. Bx. Yes, one. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. So next is to go for the to-do list. Okay, so let's go pin it. Mm, let's go, let's go down, let's check the deal. The form after the form, okay. So we see. I say to do list to do list go okay. so over here I create a div and good create a div then inside the div create another div So that is that. Let's give it a um, uh, class no a UL a UL tab inside the UL we can give it an LI tab. Then 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 we say uh, walk the dog. Walk the dog. Then. Now let's tell this. Let's give it a class name. Last name equals what? Test. Right. Then what again? Let's give it font. No, font. No, we don't need font bold. We just need um, text size. Get text. Let's give it Excel. Okay. Send. Okay. Send. And then let's use this one. I say class name. Class name. Let's give it um, some margin tab. And T three. Good. Then justify flex. Flex. Then justify. Justify same. The same again. Then word again. Okay, let's add some background color to it. So the UL, we can give it a class name. Class name and give it some background color over here. 
BG BG gun bring my hundred. Okay. Then do it again. Then give it the width. Let's see with the one the eight nine two of BG gun nine hundred. Mm, then what again? Let's give it some pattern. Px no py py. Let's give it one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then what again? What again? What again? What again? What again? Let's give it some pattern. Py left. Let's give it um. Three. Good. Let's give it some rounded. Okay, rounded. 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 What left? On the left. And LG. Good. Nice is to add the. We need a delete button, okay? So we go to the icons and get a delete. I can okay 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 so we'll go back to I can I say delete and let's pick one like this one RI RI so let's push that in to UL and let's take this one let's create a day for it Good. Um, inside the div, let's add the button. No, no, no. Good. Let's import it. R R. Import. We have icons are on. Let's check it out. Good, we got it. So let's copy the same, um, how do you call it? The same thing we did for the styling or the enter to the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do that. Okay, the body. Last name. In here, good. Okay, let's come down here. Give the last name. Good. Then what again? What again? What again? What again? Let's check it again. The top one, uh, the green and red cap. Let's copy this one too. Add it to the div. Yeah, the so it's just the same thing. Ooh, something wrong somewhere. Something wrong somewhere. Okay. So that is that. Let's check that out. Mm -hmm, good. So let's change the color of the background color. The BG, BG wife. The latest BG red. Red one, red um, four, four hundred. Yeah. Then, 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 then. What again? I think the pattern is too big. It's bigger than input. Let's change it. Okay, let's do some. Let's redo the pattern. Let's work. Come see clearly. 
Where is the div? Where is the div? Where is the div? PL, PL, PL. Drop this one. Let's take it out. So that is that, guys. We're ready to go. Now let's see how we can make it functional. Now let's take the first one. Uh, used to use. Uh, let's focus here. Let me take it off. Let's add the input tag. Input. Good. Uh, focus. Focus outline. No, good. Yeah, make check work on the input field. Okay. So to do that, let's uh, give it a state. Okay. Let's import import use state. Use state. Use state here. Okay. Use state. Okay, then let's give it a state. You see. Const const what const uh, test test comma set test it was to new state new state to bracket let's give it an object and we say inside the object we say my test Test with the value empty. So that is that for my test. Now, next to do is to give the input field a name. A name is what? Well, my test. Then we give it a value. A value of what? Test dot my test then we give it an on change on change on change uh, maybe let's give it what handle change let's create a function for handle change so we can here let's see handle test change so we say const const handle change equals to equals to a function where we're gonna say the event uh, taking the set test should give us what an object rope an object where we can say give us a test back come on then uh, give the event dot target dot name dot value event dot target dot value so that is that now to check that out we can call json okay so let's give it a pre tag pre tag and inside that uh, come on pre tag Inside that we say call JSON. I say JSON dot stringify into bracket test. So let's check anything we type in here should appear in my test. So if I say BD, it appears in my test. So that is that. Our input field is working. Now next to work on is the button. Okay. So with the button, what do you do? Go to your form. 
let's do that let's go to the form then let's give them on submit form we say on submit equals to we say handle submit so handle submit let's create a function for handle submit so over here we can say handle submit okay so we say const handle submit equals to what event that prevent no, no, prevent default kill so inside that we can say alert alert what test so let's check that out so when I put something there and I say submit it alerts the object so our button is also working so now let's see how we can create a new to do after we submit so 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 we can take the alert off then we say const new to do to do equals to what equals to an object where we should give it an id id let's give it to what uuid uuid v4 okay let me come on then let's give it a um, to do item to do item the value let's make it a test and the user types great now let me need to import uh what's the name uuid so we say import v4 as uuid v4 is that it yeah from uuid so that is that uuid is also ready now let's create a state to handle the to do's so the state state let me create it behind beside it I don't know. Yeah. So another state here, you say um, state for to do. So we say, okay, we say const const to what to do, and I set to do equals to equals to a new state new state empty array so our to do is where so let's go and add it so after a new to do what do we do let's call the set to do into bracket we call our array and you say give us the state back which is the to do then come on and add the new to do okay so that is that for our to do so check the to do out let's call json okay instead of test let's make it to do to do so let's go to our screen then we have our empty array so anything I type and I say submit it appears in the to do but it's quite unfortunate the ID didn't come let's check that ID UUID v4 okay sorry I didn't add the function yeah, so let's check it again. Okay, add another. 
okay now we have the id and uh, we have the id and the test so that is that for the for the to do now our to do is working now after submitting we need to give it an empty empty watch empty box to accept another one so we go further then we say set test empty bracket call our object then we say my test my test we should give the value empty so let's check that again So in it, I type something, clear the screen. Yeah. Type another one, I clear the screen. Yeah. So that is that. My to do is now working. Now what we need to do next is to display the to do's. Okay, we need to display it. We need to display it here. Okay, so to do that is the whole div out. Let's cut the whole div out. Good. let's take the whole div out then create the j axis then we say we say into bracket to do dot map to bracket that gives us a function okay well inside that that would do return return what to return um, empty d that's what d i read good so that is that so inside that we can say our item then we give it a key we say key equals say item dot id okay, let's check that if there's any complaint no complaint good so means we can Paste it here. Good. Let me rearrange it. Div to div. Good. So 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 far so good. So we can instead of walk the dog, we can say. We can say what item dot to do item dot my test okay so what do we need to do let's check that out so if i say and i say send you can see it gives us the to do uh, so cool guys Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to uh, how to delete the to do. To do that, let's create our delete icon and on click. So we say on click. Let's come here. Click and click across the word close to E and inside the event. Let's give it what handle handle delete handle delete. Good then inside that we take the event again. Come on, the item dot D. I think that is okay yes so now let's create a function for handle delete so we say okay. mm, come here say handle uh, delete okay, say const 
request handle delete equals to equals to what equals to e s comma what id get so we can have our set to do set to do to bracket mm, to bracket what let's say to do dot filter filter what let's take it into bracket we'll take the items now items they'll give us what the item that id item dot d is not equal to it's not equal to what id hmm? not doing the right thing mm, 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 mm. okay let's check it out so 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 item is not defined 39 39 item is not defined item dot id i wrote items and i wrote item here it's items no. items okay so let's check that out good so when i say enter enter and i click delete it goes so that is that guys our to do app is ready oh sorry guys we didn't make it responsive okay so let's do that um so to make that responsive okay to make our app responsive what we need to do is to go to our container and add this classes okay so we say xm sm let's give it mx 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 20 then in medium screen let's give it mx 52 then in large screens let's give it mx 80 then on i think that is that good so let's check that out can you see good so nice increase it i see so cool yeah so that is that guys so app is right responsive too you can take this protect off comment it so that is that guys Too. Well, thank you very much guys thank you for sticking through don't forget to do good catch in the next one say peace